could be made shorter to reduce customers' travel time and make savings, and routes with lower ridership that could run over reduced hours of the day and reduced days of the week. The service change proposals that we'll show you today would carry the same number of customers as we do today at a lower cost, would produce the cost savings that are called for in the budget, and would keep the service just as it is now for over 90% of our current customers. We're there to protect our members and, uh, and also the, the effects it has on the public. Uh, I mean, when a bus pulls up to pick up something in the public and it's a disgruntled uh, pasture because uh, routes have been changed, it, uh, it has a watering down effect all, all the way down. And our job is to service the public in the best way that we can. And, and uh, like I said, we're there to protect our members. Uh, there and, and it looks uh, cutting back uh, where they can. And let's hope that uh, the cutbacks they make make sense. Apparently they want the approval to purchase uh, some more uh, double-decker buses, uh, quite a few double-decker buses. So right now they have three and uh, there's a certain percentage of time, I don't have the, the facts here, that of, of the three that uh, there's only one in service. It was a major effect on our, on our staff is we have grievance procedures to follow and uh, there's legalities to it. But like I said, uh, we certainly will we'll be putting our, our input into uh, into these uh, reductions.